Howdy folks, this morning soaps, the crown king of Phoenix artists and accoutrements. This is sundown. This particular container contained uh, two ounces of soap. At the time when it was being offered, it was offered in a two ounce variety also. And uh, kind of tell there that's a little bit of an off-white, maybe a beige in color. It's firm inside the tub there, but it's a fairly soft soap and it's easy to scrape out and press out into the bowl. Not a problem. I don't think this is offered in the uh, two ounce variety anymore. I think it's just four ounce now. And uh, Allen Block, no rubber band. Got a little bit. It's about down to here the unscented witch hazel that is methylated. And got the matching aftershave. But this aftershave is alcohol free version. Go with the two ounce variety, huh? <laughs> had to go different and the uh, the beard oil I've used off camera is the shaven sailor and I've got it whipped up over here in my bowl with a uh, this uh, brush was an eBay find at the time uh, inexpensive uh, horsehair brush you know see I've got it whipped up pretty well in there and it uh, it whipped up really nice it was uh, not an issue getting it uh, whip up in the bowl. It just, it took quite a, I say quite a bit of water. It took more water than what I'm normally putting in soap and uh, with this brush. But once I hit the right amount, it just, poof, it just blew up. This will be the uh, fifth shave. <laughs> fifth shave with a feather poplar with a feather blade in there. And I'll go ahead and, yeah, I'll see if I can get it out there right. Without dropping the blade out of there. This will be the fifth shave, so we'll see how this uh, shave goes. I'm anticipating that it's going to be uh, going to be nice and smooth. I've already used a hot towel to the face this morning, and uh, got the what's left of the cube. This it's getting smaller, but it seems like <laughs> it's not going to go away anytime soon, which is not such a bad thing. You're definitely getting your money's worth. I feel like. I mean, and that uh, cube does stick around for a while. It's been a, quite an experience. Because I've noticed from time to time in my shave, sometimes it seems like I'll notice the pre-shave, and sometimes maybe not so much. And that might be just more me as opposed to the pre-shave itself. I do try to work it in after rubbing the cube on my face. All right. <laughs> I mean, this lather, it just, it did. It just, once I put one, just a little bit more water from the sink in there, and there it went. So this one here, as it goes for how I whipped it up after I added that water, the uh, soap, this is going to be a little bit more on the fluffy side as opposed to the wet yogurt style that I normally whip up. It smells great. I'll have a scent description down below. I'll bring it in from uh, the website there. But I, when I looked, I did not notice the two ounce variety. I, uh, for me, it was, uh, I'm, I was, especially I was already trending at that point in time about uh, uh, getting smaller sizes. And uh, I think mean, four ounce sizes are great, especially if you're, um, you only got like, see, just a few, uh, Shaving soaps, just got a small amount, that's what you're wanting, and they'll make that last, you know. Stretch out that, I guess you might say, that shipping and whatnot. But, um, for me at the time, I was looking for something smaller, easier to store. The, uh, 
case you have haven't seen these other videos with the feather poplar, it is a uh, it's a pretty uh, I guess to a degree I guess you might say basic. It's efficient. It works. It does the job. It's mostly plastic. But it does the job. Can't complain about it. If I remember right, I think the handle's about four and a half inches. In other words, it is a long one. And the balance point for this is going to be right up here towards the head. Now for me, that's not an issue. For some folks, it might be wanting the balance point a little bit different, but it works just fine for me. I don't feel like it's off balance or anything like that. Doesn't feel awkward in the hand. Can't say this still feels pretty creamy though. It was whipping it. This it was fun whipping it up in a bowl because, like I said, I put that just that little bit more water, and then that was all it needed. It just took off from there. I mean, you can look. That's that's a lot of shaving cream there. We um, went to the uh, the wife and I went to the doctor's office yesterday because uh, her incision looked like it was uh, bleeding a bit more than what was expected. And uh, he added some more stitches. We go back to the doctor again on Monday as a follow-up to see how things are going. This particular surgery was different than the previous two in that she was telling me this morning how the pain was a little bit different. Say a little bit different. It was just a lot different than what it was last time. Believe it or not, look. This one here wasn't supposed to be quite as deep, but it seemed like it's caused her more pain this go around than in the previous two. There's a bit more feedback uh, on the fist shape going on the across the green, especially right up in there. So far, the shape still feels pretty smooth. Can't complain any. The um, I think this is just going to be one of those blades because of the sharpness of the blade. That some folks will, uh, it's going to be a love hate type thing. Either you're going to like them or not like them. Depending also on the shaver. This one here is considered this, uh, Feather Poplar is considered to be a, a milder shaver, so the sharper blade, using that kind of combination, it works fine for me. It's one of those shavers for me that I can get the shave that I'm looking for. I'm not hunting for or looking for the, uh, the BBS shave, but I am looking at smooth, comfortable, sociably acceptable, and it does give me that. I don't feel like it's uh, at the end of the shave that uh, there's there's not very much left on my face afterwards. So, in other words, makes it a almost a thoughtless type of shave. I don't have to focus on where the leftovers are at. Do I have any pickups? I can do just a typical uh, three pass shave, and I won't have to worry about it. I know that the shave is going to be just fine. But the shaver itself is not going to win any beauty contest. It's just uh, just to do the job. This is pretty good stuff. I have to say. I enjoy the uh, 
the lather, how it builds, how it matures as you're whipping it up, and even after, uh, even after all that, it's still, uh, it's like say it's a more fluffy than what I normally whip up, but it's still it's staying, it's still staying fluffy in the bowl. You know, sometimes in the past I've whipped up some that's kind of fluffy, and then after a while, you know, the the foam will, or the shaving cream will dissipate. It'll get smaller. This one here is holding its own. There was a, um, at least one, I think there was two shaves actually, this has been spread out, uh, where I had more than one day's worth of growth. I think there was two shaves that I had uh, more than one day's worth of growth. And uh, as it goes for clogging or anything like that, I didn't have any issues like that. If so, if you're a person that shaves every other day and you're worried about it clogging up, I haven't had that issue with it. There is some feedback on the uh, against the grain pass, but it still still feels smooth. Blades hold up rather well, in other words. I think the alum block may have a little bit to say though. I don't feel like that I have any problems getting another shave out of this blade if I wanted to. So the way I figured out the math, I'll put links down below in case you're interested in looking at all this. Um, for instance, the uh, on Amazon is where I found a 50 pack of uh, feather blades for 1177, and once you do the math, it kind of figures out to. 4.7 cents thereabouts and I just rounded up to 5 cents thinking that would be a good threshold to be trying to reach on a blade I mean face it if you can get your shave on a blade down to 5 cents that's pretty darn inexpensive and uh, in the way I look at it, even 10 cents on a, on a shave on a blade is pretty inexpensive compared to what things are nowadays but you know it just depends on what your goal is and what you're trying to get out of your money and um, a feather blade whether it's going to work for you and the shaver that you're wanting to use or even this one here uh, like I said this one here seems like it's a mild shaver I don't have any complaints about the mildness of the shaver it works just fine for me uh, like I said I'm not looking for BBS and even if you were striving for it you might have to do a few extra strokes in order to get there but I think you could probably get there with a feather blade now whether you can get to it on the fifth or sixth shave I don't know I couldn't tell you because I don't really try for the uh, the BBS but I can say that this is a pretty close shave I can there's a few that I could probably pick up but I say you're for me the way I look at it nobody's never going to notice it the only person that knows about it is you even at the end of the day it's not noticeable you can't see it in other words it's not like it's glaring sticking way out or anything like that so in other words this shave is definitely just fine. It's good enough for me. The shaver is, uh, I'll put a link, it's at a Italian Barber. Uh, it's selling right at the $15 mark on Italian Barber. And if you, you know, are patient enough and are able to wait a while, in other words, if you're not in a position to get one right now, you're on the fence and haven't decided just yet. i got a little bit of stinging right there in my neck. Um, if you're on the fence just waiting on it, you know, if you wait long enough, sometimes right around the holidays, you can catch this shaver. I've seen it go as low as the, the $13 mark. I know that's just $2, but when you're looking at the grand scheme of things, when you're trying to work within a certain dollar range, you know, 
two dollars and this might make the difference if you're a tight wad like me <laughs> I just try to stay within a uh, certain price range and sometimes you know it just you know I've already got it the budget set at the max and then if it's if it goes uh, more than what I got it set for you know sometimes for me two dollars yeah I'm not getting it just that way just depends on how bad I want something in something like a feather poplar or something that's readily available uh, year round it's not something that might be a limited edition and or and uh, sold out on a regular basis feather poplar is pretty easy to find now as it goes for those blades at 1177 uh, you might have a tough time finding a price cheaper than that on a regular basis so you just kind of have to plan for it if you're working within a budget and trying to stay in a certain range and you not, wouldn't have to necessarily get the hundred a hundred of them fifty in other words might be uh, more than enough especially if you're looking at today five shades smooth comfortable can't complain a bit about it five shades out of one blade you got fifty blades and you can maybe even get further in that depending on your beard type and how your skin is with it um, that and the you know your your routine whether you're uh, your pre-shave routine is uh, where it needs to be if you're just starting out sometimes uh, me have to adjust how you're shaving what your pre pre and post shaves are like you know in order to to get the shaves where they need to be to be able to use a, a blade like this um, I know in the beginning there's no way <laughs> that feather blade uh, my pre-shave routine wasn't where it needed to be and uh, and for me, the hot towel is what made a big difference. I noticed that Stephen uh, Davidson um, had mentioned that he's uh, uh, experimenting with uh, some uh, pre-shave oil. And that might be something to consider. I know for the vast majority of the shaving community, they feel like that pre-shave oil is not for them. I've kind of tinkered around with it back when I first started. And I wasn't necessarily using a pre-shave oil. But what I was using, I've got this here and uh, finding it by itself has not been the easiest thing in in the store at least this is where i, I got it at walmart and this is a uh, uh it's for uh, scars and it's a uh, uh, what they refer to as skin therapy oil and this one here the flavor depending on whether you like uh, cocoa butter or not in other words whether that would bother you but uh, for me, uh, especially when I first started shaving with a shavette, I was looking for anything to give me, uh, I guess you might say, the help I might need. And just using just a little bit of that on my face as a pre-shave, if you will, seemed to make the world a difference in the shave. So a pre-shave oil is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a bad thing if it does work for you, of course. But if it's working for you, you know, it, it's a it's a good thing. So if you're... In other words, if a pre-shave soap isn't quite meeting what you're looking for, might try the pre-shave oil and tinker with the amount that you're putting on there. Start with you know just a little bit and work your way up if you need to. Might make a world of difference. I'm gonna go ahead and aftershave here. And I went with uh, I thought just because the two ounce version of the soap was how can you say out of the norm. And typically for most folks, getting one that's without alcohol, figure just go with the two ounce sides and it would be different all the way around, I guess you might say. I don't have a problem with aftershaves that do not have alcohol, which hazel base, base works just fine for me. don't have an issue with it. I really couldn't tell you the, the biggest difference I noticed with the um, alcohol versus non-alcohol is just the, how it feels on the face. So if you don't enjoy the burn, <laughs> going with a non-alcohol based aftershave would be the route to go. But if I'm not mistaken, yes it does. This has got a touch of menthol in it. I thought I felt that menthol, which is great. I, the cooling effect is just awesome. That's another thing to throw out. So if you're just starting out and you're getting some shades that aren't quite up to speed and got a little bit of razor burn or something of the sort, something that's got a menthol, aloe, those sort of things, in other words, to help cool, calm the face. Uh, lavender, I think, is another one. You can read up on it. There's a number of, uh, of ingredients that you might want to look for that would uh, help calm your face after a, uh, a 
let's say a rough shave or a shave that didn't go quite so well for you. Um, and if you got the, the money, um, you know, when you start factoring it in, 6.4 ounces, you know, not quite double the normal size of 3.4, but Barbado's got an awesome, man, that it's made just for, uh, just for that shave. In other words, it would definitely address that kind of shave. Calms the face down, helps everything that you know, all the nicks and cuts, especially if you can't see them. Uh, it'll help with all that issue as well as the ones that you can see. Um, for me, that's a that's an awesome aftershave. This one here, in my opinion, in this version, uh, works well for me. I like the uh, the idea of it, how it's just calming my face down. Not that it was uh, screaming or anything like that. I had a little bit of a stinging with the Allen block down here, but you can feel the how it's, I guess you might say, paying attention to that particular area. Just worked out great for me. So if you're wondering, with a thick, crusty old beard, <laughs> can a feather blade last five shaves? Yes, just fine. And even in a feather poplar even, uh, can't complain a bit. Had a great time doing this series. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.